Mr. Preston Pish. Preston, what keeps people trapped in the matrix and, and unable to, to really think for themselves and, and do they find themselves conforming, submitting, obeying, and, and not even realizing what they're doing? First of all, most people don't own anything anymore. They might think that they do, but like from a cash generating, free cash flow generating business, there's not too many people that actually own anything. And uh, I think this is a dynamic that we're at the end of a, of a currency, you know, petrodollar system that, you know, you take a hundred people and you line them up and you ask them, so do you own a business? Do you own something that's, that's yours or your product or service? And I think, I don't know what the numbers would be, but I would guess it's like 90s, 90% something of the people don't own anything. So they're in, a, they're in an employee mindset, they're in I'm working for somebody else uh, mindset. Most are heavily indebted. Most don't have any type of additional free cash flow to save or preserve to start buying something else that is theirs. And so you get a, a almost like a compliance kind of mindset. Like how in the world are you gonna buy Bitcoin that has 70 or 80% annual volatility relative to this fiat system that they're locked into if you're not actually have excess yeah. uh, that, that you're producing for society, which most don't. So I think that keeps them locked in. And I think uh, when a person would talk to that person about Bitcoin, they're looking at it and saying, I, I just wanna go on vacation this year, let alone be able to buy this, this imaginary token that supposedly just keeps going up in value. And I'm, I'm phrasing it in the, right. the way that they would view it. Yeah, in the way that they would say it. But I think that that's probably the, the main reason why. Being a playable character, like what does that mean to you? So when you see these Bitcoiners, you come to these conferences and you're doing these things, the people you interview on your show and all the studying you've done, when you look at somebody or you know books you've read or mentors you have, when you're like, man, that that guy, he's a playable character, and he's he's a, he can critically think, he's he's he, he's humble enough to change his position when facts change. Um, being a playable character to Preston is. It, when a person really tries to learn, because it's about knowledge, right? Uh, when a person tries to learn and become smarter through other people's mistakes as opposed to just theirs, it's an accelerative for them to, to really kind of be a producer in society in excess. Um, if you go through your whole life and you're like, well, I don't want to learn from that person's mistake. I just want to like trial and error and like I'll figure it out as I go. Um, it's almost like you're playing uh, a game that is you know, 10 times harder than every, than what everybody else is playing, especially ones that are leaning into learning from others' mistakes. So I think at the core of it is just knowledge. And I think the core of it, I, I would say one other thing, is a person that looks at their environment and looks at the world in a way that says, I can become, you name it, whatever. I can, I can play at the highest level, even though I started off over here that, that might be near the lowest level. Um, and a person that comes equipped with that mindset that there's no limitations is really kind of the mindset. Um, they have a tendency to figure out their environment and the controls that they actually do control much faster than a person who's like, well, I came from this background and I'm always gonna struggle and there's no way that I, I'll ever be able to break through. And so that wiring of like, how, how does a person go from the one mindset to the other um, is extremely important. And that's and think about that person. If they're trying to play at a super high level, they're going to want to have an accelerant to get there. And the accelerant is learning from other people's mistakes as opposed to figuring things out only on their own. And um, I know this might some of that stuff might sound really cliche, but I would tell you that it, at what I think is at the heart of people that play at a very high level and that are like you know the movers and shakers and the people that are creators through efficiency or productive gains to the rest of society, um, I think that's I think that's the mindset they have. They look at anything in the world and they're like, oh yeah, I could do that. Just give me a decade and I can figure it out and I can I can pull that off. And that mindset is so powerful. So, so powerful.